What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we are going to go over the market as per usual. Before we get into it, make sure to drop that follow on the Twitter. Before uh, we get into it, obviously, make sure to smash the like on the video. Let's get 100 likes on this video to spread some more knowledge in the My Team community. And yo, um, we got another video after this explaining some things about the game that needs to be fixed. Obviously, we do those a lot. So yeah, we kind of go over that too. Um, yeah, man, we just got the new Spotlight Sims, if you guys do not know. And honestly, not a total fan of them. But yeah, um, I don't know. Not this. The Spotlight Sims, um, they're pretty good. They're kind of cool. In my opinion, they're just another money grab that is just ridiculous. Um, I actually think Donovan Mitchell's really cool. I also think Justin Winslow's really cool. But uh, yeah, they also still have the other ones in packs. So let's pop a couple before we do get into the market and stuff. Um, probably not going to get anything cool. All right, we got a diamond there. I'll take that any day. A little quick diamond pull right there. We got a Trailblazers. I don't know who this is, but hopefully it's someone deadly. Oh, is it Lillard again? Oh my god, I pull this card every freaking pack. I pull this card every pack I pop on a video. Holy crap. All right, he's got to go. Let's pop one more. Wish me luck. Um, hopefully, we do get a diamond, pink diamond. And then we will get into the video. I got some stuff to talk about. And uh, yeah, there it is. So the packs are trash. Don't pop them. Literally, that's it. Um, Let's get into the video. So pretty much right now, I'm just thinking about some stuff and going through my mind. And I honestly need to spread my knowledge to you. Right now, man, um, they drop content two days straight. In my opinion, the ter most terrible content I could ever you could ever possibly see. Um, at this point in the game, they're kind of just telling you guys to spend money to pop packs. And honestly, you, you cannot. If you want to MT, hit me up on this at Xbox. If you want to MT, hit up my sponsor. Do not fall into these traps because they're so ridiculous. Th these are the worst money grabs ever. And I'm going to tell you why. So let's go over to Stats Don of Donovan Mitchell. And let me just show you that this card isn't worth it whatsoever. <laughs> it's really, I love the card because it's Donovan Mitchell. But here it is. So, cool. He has these crazy stats, right? Well, can we compare him? Okay. So now, um, yeah, he has better defense than Levine. He's also smaller. This card is unusable. This card is unusable in the game. Unusable card. If you put him at point guard, he's too small now. If you put him at shooting guard, he's too small. So, if you do pop these packs, you're stupid. This card is obviously cool as Donovan Mitchell. You're, he's just not a usable card. His height is 6'3". If you have came to the conclusion of this game, bro... Taco and Bol Bol, Kareem, uh, Manu Bol, they have all destroyed the game. Since they have 7-7s, 7 7-7, seven, 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 centers down low, this Donovan Mitchell card isn't worth it whatsoever. This card is not worth it. You cannot do anything with this card. Obviously, he probably has the Hall of Fame range, right? Okay, that's the only thing you can do. You can shoot from deep. Guess what? You're not driving on anybody with this card. You're going to get blocked by Taco Fall in the paint. So, yeah, that's one reason why this game has came down the drain. Um, forget the market talk. We are talking about this game has went down the drain in so many ways, and I can't take it anymore. I've gave, given up on 12-0. Kids sit in the 2-3 zone, make the game unplayable. They spider monkey around. It's not fun. Um, I don't know what they're trying to do by dropping these three meme cards. Like, they dropped this whole set is a bunch of memes. Besides the new ball, I guess. This whole set was literally the biggest money grab and I don't understand how you could give any of these cards three-point shots. They have absolutely destroyed the game. And here is how. So, first off, man, the triple threat boards are absolutely trash. I mean, they're so trash. I cannot believe that there's gold consumables on a four-ball drop with one token and 250 MT. If you guys remember last year, man, they were dropping the best stuff on triple threat boards. I would get diamond consumables every time I dropped the ball. I the, the rewards were updated. They were juiced. They were sick to play the game. 
I have came to the conclusion that NBA 2K21 is literally a copy of... I mean, NBA 2K20 is simply a copy and paste of BS, bro. Like, everything is out of sort. Like, the Evo cards have already expired. Like, they're done. What the hell is the Evo card? There's no more Evo cards. They have given up on the fact. Now, they just dropped freaking Opals. Where you gotta drop thousands of dollars to get an Opal and pull nothing. So great. Uh, another thing, bro. They took away our MT methods on the freaking... If you guys remember on the... Um, what's it called? The spin every Friday. They used to have diamond players on there. I used to make a thousands and thousands of MT. Almost millions of MT. By investing in Giannis when he became uh, really cheap, right? Giannis was around 7K when the when the spin dropped. A couple days later, he'd be 20K. I would buy 100 of them. I would literally drop 700K on Giannis. I would flip him for 20, make 10K clean per pop. That's 700K made. They have destroyed that method because they noticed people were buying or not buying, making so much MT off it. So as they're, since they're so money hungry, they decided to take away a great MT making method. They decide to, instead of fixing the gameplays with these terrible, terrible animations and terrible, terrible latency on shots, they're just going to sit here and keep putting out opals and you guys are actually distracted by the fact that these cards are absolutely doo-doo. Like, you drop a 7-5 taco fall and a 7-2 bull bull that could dribble better than Giannis and don't even see... That you can't even drive anymore, bro. You're driving with whoever. These centers are stopping everything. I understand if it's a 7-foot center. But now they have a 7-7 seven, seven center. Which means you cannot even use a point guard at 6-2. D-Rose is not worth it anymore, bro. Yeah, he's cool. He could shoot. Driving-wise, He they have honestly destroyed the driving-wise. Now, if you s sit in the 2-3 zone... The corners could be open at points. But if you're versing a good player, this game is almost unplayable in zone. This game is absolutely insane. So if you're a decent player and you don't run a lot of plays, and they run 2-3 zone, you have D-Rose, you're not doing anything, bro. You're going to take that L. You're going to lose. And not only that, bro, have fun driving on freaking Taco Fall Giant. It's not going to work out. You're not going to do good. You're not going to win. They're literally just throwing out opals at you to buy packs. Like, do not get distracted by the fact they're throwing out opals. This game's good. This game is terrible, bro. Straight up. I had enough of actually, like, playing 12-0. I can't even play 12-0. It's straight toxic, bro. Um, Yeah, we got the new wheel card coming out. That's cool. Free Galaxy Opal. You got to be a cheesehead to go 12-0. You can't play the game for fun. You can't do anything for fun. This is the only online game mode in the game. And the gameplay sucks, bro. All these out-of-bounds glitches, all the glitch where you go for a lob and you throw it out-of-bounds. I mean, like, there's just endless glitches in the game that has not been fixed. Um, the behind-the-back break-your-ankle cheese, what else is there? The pick-and-roll, the pick-and-fade, it's just like... Not only that, bro, the thing where your your guy's wide open in the corner, instead of sitting there shooting a three wide open, they're going to drive, you're going to pass, and they're going to steal. Like, there's the, the gameplay is terrible. The switching. Why the switching? If there's a guy driving to the layup, to, to, to the rim, and instead of using my center, it makes me user my freaking shooting guard out in the corner. Does that make any sense? Wherever the ball is, it should switch to. No. I even move my analog t stick to that spot. And yeah, no, it doesn't work. This game has been absolutely terrible. The reward for 12-0 sucks. You get a free Galaxy Opal when most of the community at this point has bought MT and could literally go buy an Opal, Colonel Enko, for 200k and just instead of going 12-0. Like, uh, seven, like, Will Chamberlain, seven foot. Yeah, that's cool. Will Chamberlain, seven foot. Guess what, bro? I have Taco Fall, Bow Bow. How are you going to freaking score Will Chamberlain, bro? How? You're not. Because he's seven foot and these guys are seven five. I don't know. There's just so much to think about. The new Donovan Mitchell's unusable. I will not be getting him. Maybe at shooting guard. I can't run him at point guard. Everyone I run into at this point is Giannis, Ben Simmons, Levine. I don't know, bro. No one who whoever doesn't have Ben Simmons is is crazy. Everyone has this Ben Simmons card. That's the wave now. Everybody has him. No one's selling him. He's the best player in the game. Same with Giannis. So then, how are we gonna actually use this Donovan Mitchell card? I don't know. This whole set honestly got me so pissed. And now they got a new budget Winslow that plays point guard, bro. What are they doing? They have, like, they actually took our money for position locks, bro. I'm actually shocked. They dropped a freaking pink diamond Winslow. They're so scummy, bro. Honestly, 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Honestly, 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 I don't even know where to begin. There's just so much to rant about. I can't even. This game has been absolutely terrible by the Opals. Obviously, I'm going to keep playing it. But I just don't see anything fun about this game as of right now. There's no online game modes besides 12 and 0 TTO. The rewards suck. There's not rewarding. They're literally just asking you to pop packs, which is so ridiculous. You play Madden, they have the solo challenges updated weekly. You play Madden, they release, they have Weekend League. You play Madden, they have Draft Online. You play Madden, they have Mini Modes. They have everything. They have the Superstar thing. You play 2K, you got one online game mode with your God Squad. That you could cheat for going 12-0 with by using Bronze Players. What has this game come to, man? This game used to be Fire. 2K19, Fire, Triple Threat Boards, Unlimited, all that good stuff. Fire. This year, terrible. Just literally the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, I just want to spread that knowledge to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one, guys. Peace.